Hello YouTube, this is Keith Kevin Ken. How you doing? How you doing? I hope you're doing well. Time again for another knife of the day and folks, it's another brand new knife from Spyderco. If you're new to this video, the knife of the day is a series where I go through my collection of knives. There are hundreds of them. One knife at a time, one day at a time. We've started with my Spyderco collection. The biggest of my collections, my subset collections, uh, there are over close to 200 Spyderco knives uh, on the playlist. Go check it out. A lot of new knives, a lot of super classic knives as well. Today, it's the brand new... I'm sorry, I, I haven't start, stopped smiling since the mailman left. Um, I just recorded a video with the 100 Pacer, the Spyderco 100 Pacer. What a beautiful knife. Uh, go check out that video when you're done with this one. Um, but, oh man, this to me is almost a surprise. This is the brand new Spyderco Shaman, the Spyderco Shaman. It's the plain edge and the serrated edge. Uh, it's surprising to me because... When I saw Eric Glasser talk about the Shaman, I think it was one of the either Shot Show or Blade Show uh, videos that he did. I was like, okay, okay, that's interesting. Because he said that it is a bigger version of the native. And it is. <laughs> I mean, it's a super big version of the native. It has that native profile, but man, is it a lot bigger. And man, does it pack a whole lot more in the knife than the native. It is made in USA out of the Colorado shop. It has S30V steel, just like the native. Like I said, it has that high saber grind like the native as well crucible's s30v steel native but man is it a lot bigger and there's a lot more to it um wow let's talk about the blade first <laughs> again high saber grind s30v steel it has that 50 50 choil you know the native is one of the spiderco classics it, it, we're now up to the native five. They have, they keep improving it. Um, I think this might be one of the classics as well, especially if they start coming out with different versions, because this is a beast of a knife, man. It's a beast of a knife. Um, <laughs> 3.6 inches as far as the blade is concerned. When I say blade and when everyone gives the numbers for blade, it's from the tip to the handle. And that's why I give you this second number. That's the edge. It's a three inch edge. Man, does the, these things come out sharp as you know, you know what. Of course, this is the plain edge. This is the spider edge. This is Spyderco serrated edge knife. So it comes in one or the other. Now, here's where it really gets interesting. Now, I like smaller knives. Native is one of my favorite knives. But this, a big Native is unbelievable. This handle, it's G10. It's smoother G10 with a matte finish. And for some reason, it just feels, I don't know, it feels great. It, I guess because of that smooth G10, I'm starting to fall in love with the matte um, G10. Uh, the native that I showed you, and I'll, I'll put it in, I'll compare it at the end with the native as well, and the paramilitary too. That new native has a matte finish on its handle, and I'm just, I'm loving it. Now, unlike the native, which, which has a backlock, a very strong and well-developed backlock, hello to the compression lock. 
I'll tell you, the compression lock has been around a long time. If you check out the playlist, you'll see some very old knives with a compression lock. It's one of my favorite. Of course, it boomed in popularity with the Paramilitary 2. That's where most of us, that's where I first found out about it. But, oh my goodness, after Spydeco said, forget it, the Sage... We need to name ourselves a Sage with that compression lock, and that became the Sage 5. They have been putting the compression lock in a lot of knives. Thank you, Spydeco, because it's a strong lock. It's just a wonderful lock. It's one of my favorites from Spydeco. It is Spydeco's own creation. See-through construct. Well, it has a little bit of a steel backspacer. I'm okay with this. Actually, I'm okay with all kinds of backspaces. It just depends on it. But it's easier to clean, especially even with the smaller backspacer in the back. Nested steel liners. Gives it a lot of stability. And man, oh man, what a great... <laughs> I'm, I'm loving this knife. I, I really am. I, and it surprises me. Now, some of you told me, hey... That shaman is a beast, and some of you have been looking forward to it, and man, I really like it. The clip is the, the regular Spydeco clip, real sturdy with the three screws in it. It's a four-way clip, right, left, up, down. So I told you it's a 3.6 inch blade, three inches of it is edge. The total, it's an eight inch knife. Eight inch knife, of course with the 50-50 choil. 5.2 ounces, 5.2 ounces. It's funny, um, I did the 100 pacer and it's a huge knife. And I said, man, this seems light for such a big knife. This is not a heavy knife, but man, if you ever get a chance to put this in your hand, it's a compact knife. You feel that it's there. Again, I, I bring up the 100 Pacer because I just did the video, but also because it also is 5.2 ounces. So when you start talking about, you know, a four inch knife with a big handle like the 100 Pacer, and then this, it's a big knife, but a lot smaller. You can tell it's real compact. Skeletonized embedded liners to save on some of that weight there is a swedge as well kind of can't see it as much on this you can see that a little bit for decoration but also just takes off just a little bit of the weight has real nice jimping ah, brand new from spydeco folks it is the spydeco shaman it's a larger native with a lot of extras. And when I say larger native, there's the native. It has that wonderful G10 matte finish. I'm, I'm, I'm loving it. Um, that native, brand new native, has that matte finish too. And instead of the very sturdy back lock, oh, we've got the very sturdy, beautiful compression lock. There it is. When we try to line it up with the paramilitary two, give you a chance to look at the size of it. And of course that spider edge as well. There you have it. If you're enjoying these videos, don't forget to thumb it up. That just keeps me going. That's just a juice that keeps me going knowing you guys are out there. Don't forget to subscribe and turn on your notifications. There's a lot of subscribers who haven't turned on their notifications. They're going to miss this new video and a quick look at a brand new knife. They're going to miss the 100 Pacer that I just did. I hope you guys go check that video out too as well. You guys have a very good day. No, no, no. Have a perfect day. Keep those pockets full. Goodbye.